drawing a line of best fit can look easy. But there are many, 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 many ways of getting it wrong. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to draw a line of best fit and all the common mistakes to avoid. Let's start with straight lines of best fit and an experiment to see how time in the sun affects plant growth. The first mistake is to ignore the vast majority of your points and just connect that first and last point. Don't do this! A similar mistake is thinking you have to go through 0, 0, through the origin. You don't have to! Another really common mistake is to do dot to dot. Now, sometimes this is the right thing to do, but your teacher or the question will tell you when that is. Most of the time, dot to dot is wrong. A thick line is going to cause issues when you try and use your graph. Draw a nice thin line with a sharp pencil. If you use a small ruler, this can lead to two different mistakes. You can accidentally cause a split in your line. Why is this a problem? Imagine you wanted to use this graph to figure out how tall plants would be after seven days. Because of the split, there's two possible answers at this point. It's either going to be 4.1 or, using the other line, 4.5. The second mistake is you can accidentally end up changing direction. This wouldn't happen if you used a long ruler. To avoid this confusion, you need a single line. Now you know the mistakes to avoid, let's look at how to draw a line of best fit correctly. What you do is you place your ruler on the page and move it around until you've found the best spot. You're looking to get roughly the same amount of points above and below your line. This wooden ruler looks really nice, but you can't see where the points are below the line. That's why it's best to change it for a see-through ruler. As well as checking we have roughly the same number of points above and below the line, we're also trying to get them the same distance from the line. Once you've decided where your line of best fit should go, draw the line with a nice sharp pencil. After you've drawn your line of best fit, look to see if there's any point that's particularly far from the line compared to the others. Those points are anomalies and you circle them. Now, it's important to note that in some experiments, your line of best fit will touch or come close to most of the points, and in others, it won't. That doesn't matter. What you're looking for is that for your line of best fit, the points are roughly the same distance from your line, and roughly the same number of points above and below your line of best fit. Now, let's look at how to draw curved lines of best fit. For curved lines of best fit, there's even more ways to go wrong. Dot to dot is still wrong, as is joining the first to the last point. Thick lines are wrong. And thinking that you always have to start at the origin. Curved lines of best fit are drawn freehand, and this leads to four more common mistakes. If you draw your line of best fit slowly, it ends up looking really wobbly. And if you draw it too fast, you end up missing the points. If you draw your line of best fit in sections, it ends up looking wispy and has overlapping lines. And we've already seen why overlapping lines are bad. Some people don't like the line that they draw and then redraw it without rubbing out the first line. This leads to multiple lines that overlap. Overlapping lines is bad. How do you draw a curved line of best fit? We can learn two key tips from people who draw freehand circles. The first is this. Use your body's natural pivot points. What do I mean? Well, your wrist and elbow naturally curve one way. So if you turn the page so the curve you're drawing matches the curve of your wrist, you will instantly draw a better line. The second tip is speed. Freehand circles are drawn fast. When you draw your line of best fit, you want to do it as quickly as you can while still being accurate. I recommend you start by turning the page so it matches the curve of your wrist. Then, do two trial runs over the top without putting your pen down, and on the third one, pen down and just go for it. 